Featuring in this piece of artwork means the world to Nikita Rituma and her little daughter Yindi. Just on four years ago, Nikita lost her firstborn daughter at birth and relied on a range of services at the Victorian Aboriginal Health Service to help cope with her grief. There's a lot of tears that have fallen for me in this, under this, in this building and there's no other place I would have gone for that. I don't think I could have got through it uh, without the place. I, I wouldn't have got through it. Little Yindi is the fifth generation of her family to use the service, which for more than four decades has provided a range of culturally appropriate medical, mental health and wellbeing services. And doing so has become a cornerstone of Victoria's Aboriginal communities. This place is a home away from home. It's more than just a um, it, it's more than just a GP service or counselling service. Um, it's because it's um, run by the community for the community. Today, artists applied the final touches to the mural, which remarkably has taken just two weeks to bring to near completion. Former patients, elders, and images of the struggles of generations past are all included in the piece, which has been largely painted with spray can, not brushes quite a novelty for Indigenous artist Ray Thomas. I'm more of an old traditional painter with um, brushes and uh, paints. This is a new medium for me using the, the spray cans and it's fantastic. The colours are vibrant, uh, you know, you've got a full range of, in the palette with the earthy colours right through to pastels. But the new genre is growing on him thanks to some handy hints from young instructor, street artist Matt Adnate. It's just instances it's shh, 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 and, and the, you know, the paint's on and you just keep moving on. It's, I, I call it like power painting. It's fantastic. I mean, I grew up as a graffiti artist though, so you know, it was always cool to have, it, have a good spot on the street anyway, and, and now I get to paint spots like this with scissor lifts. For Nikita Rituma though, who drove past the mural for the first time just last night, the image means much more. It sort of took my breath away because it's the first time I've seen my, my face look peaceful since having that loss. So, and it was so beautiful and such an honour to be on a building like this. I feel really privileged to be chosen. Luke Waters, SBS World News.